what we're about to do now is that the questions that you were busy with before, you will have something like this, the cost of, for example, we had the one of saying uh, cost of theta minus 24 or 26. Huh? Yeah, but this theta, the angle here, it only had uh, a numerical value next to it, it was one. Okay? So if you check this one here, it starts to have a problem because we have something like three X. Meaning that as soon as you affect the angle, it affects the period. Immediately when you affect the angle, the angle is going to affect your period, but it's something that you shouldn't worry about. So if you are going to determine the general solution of the following, um, if we're to try to, for example, to draw this, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to draw it later on and see which, how does it look like. Anyway, how would you approach such a question? Nothing has changed. We will then say, okay, let's go and get the reference angle. Again. So if we're going to get the reference angle, it says that 3x, is going to be equal to the cos arc, the cos arc of 0, 0,123. That one is fine, okay? And then what are you getting here? You are getting the ref angle here. Yeah. So you're going to get your reference angle. And then we said here on the first quadrant, you take the ref angle. On the second quadrant, you are going to have 180 degrees minus ref. And then on the third quadrant, you have 180 degrees plus left. And then here you have 360 degrees minus the left. Okay. So it says the three X is going to be equaling to 82. So we say shift and then we get 0, 0,123. And then it says we have 82,96. Keeping in mind, my calculator is on fix again. Okay? So I'm rounding off my answers to two decimal places. I don't want to make a mistake here. Okay, this is the ref angle. Remember, we don't simplify on the ref angle. We are not going to simplify on the ref angle. As soon as we get our ref angle, we are going to ask ourselves, where is the cost going to be negative? Again, we have negative this side again. Okay? Where do you expect cost to be negative? So we are going to work on the second quadrant and then we're also going to work on the one on the third quadrant. Look at the following, according to, according to the second quadrant, I will then say second quadrant, according to the second quadrant, three X is going to be equaling to, I take this thing exactly the way it is. I think this is my reference. Huh? So I'm going to take my reference and then according to the third quadrant, it says ref is going to be equaling to 180 degrees minus 82,93 degrees plus K multiplied by 360 degrees. So that, that is for second quadrant. Okay? Now, if I were to simplify this because I want to make X the subject of the formula, I'm going to say, okay, this one and this one. If I say 180 degrees minus our answer, <laughs> what happened? 180 degrees minus 82. Comma nine three. It says we have ninety seven comma zero seven plus k multiplied by what by this is equal to three x still not equal to x. I want x again. Now on this question here, the one that we were doing before, what did we do after it? We had theta minus twenty six. You remember that? Again? We took this twenty six to the other side again. Now we want to get X here. How would you get X here? You are going to divide, okay? But now when you divide by three, look at what is going to happen. Divide by three, divide by three, and then you also come and divide this one by three. You divide throughout by three. So if you're going to divide everything by three, it says X is going to be equal to, then you have, it's 32,36. And then we are going to say uh, 360 divided by 3. Mm -hmm. It gives us what? Mm -hmm. 360 mm -hmm. divided by 3. It gives us 120. It says plus K multiplied by what? By 120. Mm -hmm. So our period, it's, it's not for us to decide that automatically tells us our period now. Because of this 3 here, our period is no longer 360, but it's going to be what you mean? 
120. But I didn't start by saying my period is going to be 120. No. I said the period of course. What is the period of course? It's 360. Automatically, this thing here, it gives me the correct period. After solving on the correct quadrant. So on the second quadrant, I'm going to have 33, 32, comma, 36 plus K multiplied by 120. Is this the only solution that we're going to have? We still have another solution again. Where do we get the other solution? We get it on the third. So on the third. If we go on the third, we're going to say 3X is going to be equal to 180 degrees plus 82,93. Plus K multiplied by 360. My period is 360 because it's cost. My period is 360 because it's sign. My period is 180 because it's what? It's, it's 10. When I solve this thing, when I solve this thing, you're not going to give me the correct period for this thing. So if I go on and say, okay, but now if I add this two, what am I going to get? It's two, eight, two, six, two. And then it's 262 comma. Nine, three, plus K multiplied by 360. Okay. Then this is equal to 3X. I'm not looking for 3X, I'm looking for X. Right? So how do I get X? Divide by three, divide by three, divide by three, and then it says X is going to be equal to 87, 87 comma 64 plus K multiplied by what by? In tweet. And then I want you to look at the following then. As our activity, we can then look at the following. Let's start with number two. And then we'll go to number six after that. As a class in two. Number two, yeah. Cos two x is equal to zero comma seven eight nine. So, so this step of my So two two is a little sign. So then you shall have the door of our cos arc. Then the door cos arc will open up right here and stroke over. Eight nine plus bracket. So the one chamo the way is alpha three thirty seven comma nine one and dot eight. So returning returning our position a positive which quadrant our quadrant are like the cast the policy we have the coffee so kakra lor a positive for quadrant number one. So because quadrant number one of Navaja, our left angle, the way it is, right, is more of us, more so two x is equal to three seven comma ninety one plus k multiplied by three sixty. So to divide a more, we come more, I never need to excel about the new x. So to divide a cat, then divide a two come on and take time, divide a cat also in our in our sense. What happens? Yes. So here the vector comes out with that two. The third answer is now here the vector got two. The third x is equal to eighteen comma nine five plus k multiplied by one eighty. The answer is really more than two. Okay. Okay. So the third one of what question? What name? Two x is equal to this minus seven comma nine one plus. K multiplied by three sixty. So carry is so. We go check the sixty three now. Right, minus only our right angle. Our right angle is three thirty seven to one ninety one. So answer in here minus only the part three two two comma two nine. Then K plus K multiplied by three sixty. We need to have a solution. So so carry our right angle to X or our X. I divide that two. Whatever I do, I will get inside. I will get more inside. So here we are going to solve. It's our it's our fact x is equal to one six one comma oh five 